guys, it's Ariel here from Fix My Books, and today I will be showing you how to record the Shopify capital transaction. So this is something that is very common in terms of e-commerce. So what they'll do is they'll give you, they'll call it Shopify capital. It's really a loan. So they'll give you a loan and then they will take the interest portion up front. And then what they'll do is they'll take 15% uh, 15 of your sales with every single remittance or deposit, right? They'll take 15% off of the top and that's how you pay down the principal balance of the loan. So let me show you guys what that looks like. This is exactly how you would see it on Shopify. So as you can see here, this is obviously like fictitious numbers. I made all of this up. Um, but this is how it would look like when you have Shopify um, capital transactions. And then I just sorted it by date so it would be easier so that the start would be here instead of the start being in the bottom. But when you see your Shopify capital CSV file, and it will be a CSV file like this, it will be in the bottom. Again, I just sorted it so it's on top here so it's easier for everyone to see. So let's get started. As you can see, the balance here says $9,723.60, but the amount we received is only $8,760. Why is that? So that is because Shopify takes a portion of it of the loan up front, the interest portion, and they will only deposit $8,760. As you can see here, it says all you received is 8760 So even though, again, these numbers are fictitious, it's completely made up, this is exactly how it would look like on a live or real loan, right? It's always 11%. So I copied exactly the 11% that I've seen. So you can see here, this is the amount of interest they took up front. And then as you can see, sales multiplied by 15 percent that is the amount that they take off of the top of your sales so that's how you pay down this loan and i've seen this more and more often i know that clover capital has something similar to this and basically all other um payment platforms that do something like this like shopify capital clover capital etc that you can get i'm not sure if square does this or stripe Oh, Stripe definitely does do this as well. So um, it's a different process with those. I'm just showing you Shopify Capital at the moment, but I'm aware that this happens with a lot of different merchants. So how do you record this? So this deposit on 1003, as you can see over here, we will record it as such. So click New, Journal Entry, and you should have a Shopify capital account, but if there's none here, then we can just make one up. So the account, obviously, first we would need the checking account because we got money. Next would be the interest expense portion. And then last would be the Shopify capital loan, which obviously we have to create over here. So Shopify capital loan. Okay, and then it's not a bank, it will be other current liabilities, and then current liability is fine. Okay, save and close. And then just follow what I did. So basically the balance minus the amount here, that would be your interest portion. So obviously what hit your checking account is what we put in the checking. The interest expense is 963.3. 60 as you can see we just it's the difference between these two so this minus this and that's how we got that number and then the shopify capital loan amount so the total 9723.60 because that's what you have to pay down so 9723.60 must be paid down and then as you can see both of them are equal and then you could put something here to record shopify capital loan so there's a description and then one thing i like to do is also to attach the csv file over here 
of the uh, this exact CSV file. So if there are any questions in terms of the loan, the source document is there already. So I would highly, highly advise that you attach it here. I'm not going to do it. This is a dummy account. But just know if I was doing this in a live account, that's what I would do. Save. And then when we close out of here, you can see that it says deposit matching exactly. So we'll click match. And then once we go to the balance sheet, you will see that there is now a Shopify capital loan for that amount. So that's how you record the Shopify capital loan. So if you guys have any questions or you want to see other videos, please don't hesitate to comment them down below. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. Once again, this is Ariel from Fix My Books, helping you fix your books. Hey guys, it's Ariel here from Fix My Books. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and helping my YouTube channel grow. If there are any videos you want to see on my channel, please don't hesitate to comment them down below. I always listen to your feedback. And once again, this is Ariel from Fix My Books, helping you fix your books.